I truly believe that this is the coolest fingerboard deck ever made in this package. Let's get ready to get this thing out of here and show you what it is. Switching over to POV mode, it is unboxing time. Just kidding. This deck has an awesome design on the bottom that's split ply. If you're a fan of the band Van Halen like I am, then it's even cooler. Let's get the rest of the stuff out of the bag and begin the process of setting this thing up. This is always a classic shot right here. One of the first ways I ever went viral on social media was applying foam grip tape to a fingerboard. So if going viral is one of your goals, maybe you should try this out. I guess it's just really good ASMR or something like that especially this part watch this super satisfying now this thing's starting to look pretty good what i'm doing right here is poking holes for the screws that hold the trucks in here you can see me struggling because i failed to do this step last time i set up a board all that's left to do is line these trucks up and start messing around I'm not really sure where this tradition started but every fingerboarder and skateboarder does it with the new setup we're gonna do the kick flip test Now that this board is all set up, I'm finally starting to have a decent collection of used pro boards. I kind of want to start hanging them up over the old park over here, but I'm not entirely sure that's what I want to do. Leave me a comment of what you think the best idea is. I'm about to do a bunch of hard tricks on this deck and then give you a detailed review of what I think of it. Stay tuned. Oh, and I got to clean the wheels. Watch this. That's a whole lot better. All right, now here's the tricks. Feel free to rate my fingerboarding skills on a scale of one to 10. Appreciate it. Wheels, what are you doing on my desk? I need to film here, Wheels. The people want to know how this fingerboard is. He doesn't care. All right, guys, here's the deal with this deck. It's a size 32, which has always been my preferred size. The nose and the tail are exactly the same length, and the concave is just pretty medium. I don't think there's anything really unique or special about this board, but I like it. Overall, I'm gonna give this board an 8.6 out of 10. I think it's really nice, and I can see myself using it for a long time. As always, thanks for checking out this video, guys. I'm thinking about getting on a more consistent schedule again here soon. I miss it, honestly. If you want to order something from this company, check out finger everything on Instagram and they'll get you hooked up. And if you made it this far in the video, leave me a comment saying George needs a haircut. Goodbye.